we are on step three of the listing process, entering the listing onto KWLS. So far you should have entered the basic information into the local MLS and printed out the input form and gotten that sign as well as the listing agreement signed and uploaded that into dot loop. However, you won't submit that to the broker until a little later. Right now what we want to do is, once you've got your pictures taken as well, go into kw.com, log in, and go to technology, KWLS. You'll have a, a window pop up, and from here we're going to go to create a listing. I'm going to put in everything that has a star by it is going to be required information. Listing date, expiration date, going to set it for December 25th. Current price is going to be the same. Uh, map URL you can look up on any of the map sites, Bing, Google, or Yahoo Maps, and just put that URL in there. It's active, single family, and we'll put in the address here. And then under the description field, we we only want to put one thing in there, and that's going to be to tell them to go to that specific URL that I will show you how to forward that URL to your marketing website where the the all the listing information is. That will syndicate that from your local your local MLS. From here, go to next. This will bring us to a window to put in the MLS number. Uh, you do not have to put that number in to go ahead and move forward in the process to add photos. And to add the photos, the branded photos, I provided a link below so that you can brand your images. I recommend that you only upload a couple images. Go to that link, and then from here you can, once you go to File, Make Copy, you'll be able to edit this image, uh, click on any element in it, change the, change the name, change your phone number, email address, and brand this image for your own branding. Or if you already have uh, like an email uh, signature that you use, you can just throw that over the top of this. Then from here, you'll go to File, Download as JPEG. Then once you do that, we can, we'll have images that we can work with. So here's our images here. I saved one and then what I did is I renamed them with the address of the property and then I made copies of each one. I, I, I like to put a couple images in, I like to do a floor plan and then I like to do the main image of the property uh, with my brand, my branding on there. Then we'll go back to Uh, putting in the photos here. You'll have to wait for the Java to load here, so make sure your Java is up to date on your computer. I want to run that. And then we can just go here and take these pictures, select them all. And we can just drop these right into here. And once they're there, we'll just click Upload. It'll take a couple minutes. Okay, once those images have all uploaded, they will appear down here below. And right now they're not in, quite in an order that I like them to be in. I like to have every other, other one be a different picture. And I'm just going to go ahead and change the order by changing these to the number, the place I want it to be in. So in this case, they're just going to be every, every even number. Okay, and then we'll just save changes, and that will change the order of those images. Okay, once that done, once that's done, we'll, we're just going to go ahead and submit that for. We're going to go ahead and click Save Changes, and now this is ready to go. 
all we have to do is wait for the day before we want the listing to go active and we'll have to go in here and enter in that MLS number and we'll be ready to go.